Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck and today we are looking at white blood cells and how they protect us from disease. So when um, a pathogen or harmful pathogen does manage to enter our body, the way it, the thing that stops them from harming us is the white blood cells um, and these are in your immune system. So the way that they can protect us, uh, they have three main ways of protecting us. The first way is they ingest microorganisms. So some white um, blood cells ingest, the, uh, or that means take in the pathogens, and this destroys them, meaning it makes you, uh, doesn't make you ill. So obviously without any of these uh, harmful pathogens in you, then it, it, you cannot be ill because they are obviously away. The next way is they produce antibodies. Um, and some white blood cells produce special chemicals called antibodies. Um, these target uh, bacteria or viruses and destroy them. Um, however, for each type of pathogen that goes in you, you need an, a unique type of um, uh, blood cell. And um, but once these your blood cells have produced antibodies, um, once again a, a particular uh, pathogen, they can be made very quickly if that pathogen gets back in the body again. That's why you can rarely be ill of exactly the same disease. And that's why if you um, when you take an, when you have an immunization, you can't be ill of that disease again. Also, producing antitoxins is the last way that um, white blood cells can protect you against disease. And uh, some white blood cells produce antitoxins, and these cancel out the toxins which are released by the pathogens. So obviously, if you can watch my um, my bacteria and viruses uh, video, then it can it shows there that some one of the ways that bacteria, especially. Uh, make us ill as they produce toxins, meaning that, that that is the way that you become ill. So thank you for watching, and please can you subscribe and uh, go to my website, the links below, and like my videos. It's I'm very grateful for it. So thank you, and see you soon. Bye.